as NFL fans, we don't always get the best quarterback free agency market every single offseason. It's very rare, I feel like, in the NFL to see guys switching teams. We kind of got a glimpse of how interesting it could be when Tom Brady, after 20 years, whatever it was, in six Super Bowls, moved on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and went and won his seventh Super Bowl. That was one of the rare cases, just like the rare Peyton Manning case near the end of a career. But we don't necessarily see huge quarterback markets in the NFL. A lot of times these guys play a lot of years for the same team. And if they're not good enough anymore, then time just moves on. You don't necessarily see superstars making big moves. And that's what's so interesting even last year with the Russell Wilson Seahawks trade. As much as Russell Wilson stunk up the farm and things haven't gone well, which for me as a Seahawks fan has been pretty awesome because I get to reap the benefits of having a better quarterback in Geno Smith and having the draft picks and getting a lot of good pieces. But that's neither here nor there. What's really interesting here is we have a real free agency market. And I don't know if we've ever had this many names that have to be figured out. And there's a lot of trickiness behind them. The first one I'm going to start with, because I don't think anything's going to happen, but it is quite interesting, is Lamar Jackson. Now, is he really on the trade market or the free agency market? Sorry. No, probably not. Because at the end of the day, despite him declining a huge contract from the Ravens, which at this point, I don't even know who's winning. Like Lamar didn't play his best season, but then, and he got hurt a little bit, which you never want to see with a running quarterback, but the Ravens obviously are not as good without him. So they're going to, somebody's going to have to bite here at the end of the day. If they don't figure out the contract this year, they'll probably just try to franchise tag him. And we don't see that too often, but we saw with Kirk cousins when he was on the Washington, then Redskins now commanders. And he ended up going to Minnesota, but he got franchise tagged for two years by Washington. And they just kept him around because they wanted to pay him, but they didn't want to pay him as much as Minnesota did, but they knew he was good enough to be the quarterback at the franchise tag. That's probably what's going to happen to Lamar if they don't figure out the guaranteed money. It's going to be interesting, though, because Lamar did start to get a little injured this year. He's still injured right now. I don't think he's for sure to play this week. Um, hopefully, he's healthy by the playoffs. But we just saw the Arizona Cardinals pay a running quarterback a lot of money, 200 and something million guaranteed. And he got hurt, tore his ACL and Kyler Murray. We saw the Denver Broncos pay $250 million for Russell Wilson. What happened to Russell Wilson? He sucks. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last. That's a weird, tricky one, but he sucks so far. And then on top of that, you have other interesting scenarios. I mean, at the end of the day, the Browns traded for Deshaun Watson, who is not only going through his own legal problems off the field, but he was also paid uh, the biggest guaranteed contract of all time. And he's kind of stunk up the place. Jacoby Brissett was better than him this year. So there's a lot of mistakes when you pay arm and leg for a quarterback, especially one that we're not 100% sure about. Russell Wilson was declining in Seattle and just came off his first real injury when he broke his finger. And things were just going a little bit downhill. The Broncos thought they could fix that. So far, they can't. You saw the same thing with Deshaun Watson. He didn't play for two years because of criminal stuff, sitting out with the Texans. He comes back. He hasn't been that good. Kyler Murray last year after his contract came back, did not look that good, which is just crazy to say, but he just didn't. And then he tore his ACL. So you must be careful if you're a team like the Ravens, but Lamar Jackson, you also need to be careful because he's a superstar MVP quarterback who I love to watch. But if you do lose a leg, with an ACL, Lamar's maybe not the same quarterback. So this can be an interesting one, but they're probably going to franchise tag. Him. I'm going to go a little faster through other ones, but that was one of my favorite examples. You have Tom Brady and I'll add Derek Carr because these ones flip flop. Derek Carr yesterday got benched by the Oakland Raiders. Excuse me, the Las Vegas Raiders. They sent him home for the last two weeks and they're going with Jared Stidham for the last two games. Now, many people don't understand this move. Even Devontae Adams came out and said, I I'm a Raider because of Derek Carr. Who knows what's going to happen here? It sounds like they're coming to an end with Derek Carr in Las Vegas, which makes me believe there's got to be some Tom Brady hype in that building. I don't know if I foresee Tom Brady staying in Tampa Bay the way this season's gone. Um, I either feel like it's retirement, maybe the 49ers if Purdy ends up declining at the end of the year. I don't know if he will. Or what happens if the Jimmy G contract, who's also going to be a free agent. But Brady 
must be the rumor because I just wouldn't believe that they benched Derek Carr and send him home if they had nothing in the works because this team started to get a lot better. They won a few games in a row and then waited for him to have a bad game and benched him. It was a very odd scenario. So I think it's Brady to Las Vegas is what I'm guessing. But Derek Carr is a great option for, drum roll, the Indianapolis Colts, of course, is probably who he's going to be. The Colts went from Phillip Rivers to Carson Wentz to uh, to Matt Ryan. They just love taking that quarterback on the next on their next journey. So I would be not be shocked if it's them. But Derek Carr is a very high quality quarterback. Um, I know he gets a little bit of hate. He's not perfect, but Derek Carr is extremely extremely good. Let's look at that Raiders franchise before him. It's been an absolute shit show for the last 10 years. And on top of that, he had to deal with the John Gruden stuff, the Antonio Brown stuff, moving cities, um, all this just crazy stuff, the Henry Rugg stuff. This guy has just been a leader of men in a really chaotic environment. So whoever gets him, which there's a couple options, man. I could see him on the Seahawks. I could see him on the Colts. I could see him on the Denver Broncos if they find a way to get rid of Russell Wilson. Um, maybe a team like the Falcons who have a very good receiving core take a shot at him. I know they got Spencer. Uh, all right, I just checked it. Desmond Ritter. the one I, was, I meant to say. Desmond Ritter. They got Desmond Ritter in the draft last year. But he's not the best option. He hasn't looked great so far. So Derek Carr is a crazy one that we're going to have. You don't really get that many high-quality quarterbacks like him that hit a free agent market or that are widely open to be traded. Brady, of course, the only cold weather he would possibly, possibly entertain is New England because he's played there. But I don't think that's happening. And I don't know if Bill Belichick would, would want that. We have Geno Smith, Seahawks fan here. Geno Smith's an interesting one because what does this season mean? Is it Geno Smith? Was it Pete Carroll? Was it the, the organization? Was it the situation? No one knows. And he's been making like a million dollars year after year after year. I think he got paid exactly a million dollars from the Seahawks this last season. This guy's going to look to make some money. If a shitty team comes and gives him some money, like the New York Giants, I don't know who's going to give him money next year, but let's just say they're like, here's $7 million for one year. He's going to take that. He's going to take the highest value dollar bill he can get. He's not going to sign up the Seahawks for super duper cheap. Now, the Seahawks are in a good situation because he probably enjoys the fact that he's working in the system. They might make a playoff run. They're going to get more draft picks. And they're the ones that are probably the most likely to pay him if they believe in him. But that's a very interesting one. Danny Dimes is going to be on the move probably. The Giants clearly don't believe in him. He's not great, but he's an interesting piece that somebody might have a project on. We see a lot of these young guys that don't do well like the Sam Darnolds of the world end up getting other chances because people want to see what's up. Baker Mayfield's look great on the Rams for two out of three games because somebody wants to give him a chance. And he's one of those other guys. And so is Sam Darnold. You're going to have those backup type of quarterbacks that could be a starter if somebody gets hurt. Jacoby Brissett for the Browns, who outplayed Deshaun Watson this entire year, should have been the starter. Mike White for the Jets. And they don't like Zach Wilson, so it's another interesting piece to it. Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, Andy Dalton, who's had the start all year for the Saints, and sometimes he gets part of a you know starting job from a lot of people, which you never know when it comes to injuries, as always. Teddy Bridgewater, another guy that lost jobs to injury, got jobs to, for injuries. That Saints job's open for a lot of people. Because I know Dalton's not the guy, and it looks like Jameis Winston's not their guy, and they're not starting Taysom Hill. Like, God, there's no way they're starting Taysom Hill. And on top of that, you have the other guys, like Ryan Tannehill, potentially, Jimmy Garoppolo, potentially. That is a list of quarterbacks that could potentially be moved, re-upped, new contracts. We're going to have an insane quarterback offseason in this NFL. I'm going to read that list to you one more time. Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, Derek Carr, Geno Smith, Daniel Jones, Jimmy Garoppolo, Ryan Tannehill, Jacoby Brissett, Mike White, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, Teddy Bridgewater, and Andy Dalton. And that's just the beginning. Some of them are going to get re-upped. Some guys are going to get traded. There's going to be young guys like Zach Wilson that if the Jets give up on him, maybe ask for a trade. Maybe there's some weird things that go on. Maybe the Rams believe in Baker Mayfield and they get rid of Matt Stafford. Maybe the Panthers believe in Sam Darnold and re-sign. Maybe they don't and another team believes in him after his nice little run at the end of the season. It's a lot of open jobs. It's a lot of closed jobs and open jobs. It's going to be really a wild, wild QB market and I really just can't wait. I'm Sammy on tap. Much love. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. 
I'll be back soon. S-A-M-I on tap, and we're all part of the Sports on Tap brand. Check that out. All links in the description, and we'll be back next time. Peace. Mm-hmm.